Hey everybody, Chad at Red Tone Studio here today. I know we've all been there where we make an awesome mix here in our studio, then we go and put it in our cars and it sounds like crap. I think the best way is to check it on many different uh, systems and also trust your ears, trust your monitors, and get your studio treatment put together so you can do that. I had an idea. I thought we would do some REW measurements in the car. To kind of show the differences, I've got a, a Model 3 Tesla Standard Range Plus, and I've got a 2014 Chevy Silverado. I want to just kind of feel the differences. The Standard Range Plus Model 3 Tesla kind of has more of a tinny sound, not a lot of bass. The truck has almost too much bass, so which one is right, which one is wrong, hard to say. Commercial music all sounds good in both of them. I, I like the sound system on the Tesla, but we are going to dive into it and have a look, especially on the Tesla, as that is my main commuter car now. So, I have everything set up on my computer. I have downloaded a sweep onto my phone. I'm gonna play it through the Tesla, play it through the truck, and I'm gonna see what it looks like in REW software, which is free, by the way, and see what I can see. So let's go on out to the car and see what we got. All right, here we are in my Tesla Model 3, in my shed, standard range plus, Let's go have a look, see, make sure everything is set to zero. Balance, even, immersive sound on, whatever that means. I'm sitting in the in the passenger seat. You see over in the driver's seat, I got my measurement mic set up about where my head would be. So let's run a test tube. I'm going off of my phone through the Bluetooth. Have a listen. Volume at three quarters. That was it. Let's go look at the graphs, see how they look. All right. Now we're back inside. Let's uh, load it up here on the computer in REW software and see what we got. To start out, we need to go down to import, import sweep recordings. This top box here is where uh, we found the sweep that we uh, loaded on the phone. And this bottom here is the, the recording we made for that sweep. So I pull up three quarter volume Tesla sweep two open her up left hand side no problem close that so then let's uh, smooth it out 112 smoothing have a look so you can see the the base from 40 or so to 100 is up you got kind of a trough here in this 100 to 700 Hertz this 700 to 1k is kind of high and then uh, pretty even through here the vocal range odd that it comes back up at 10k and then you'll see here there seems to be a low pass filter right here about 16k so no information above 16k on the tesla model 3. i find that kind of odd not that i can really hear that anyways because i'm too old and i spent too long in an outlaw country band and my ears are shot so good to see um overall you know fairly flat I don't say it's too bad. It'll be interesting to see what my truck looks like. I did this on my truck earlier, so we'll have a look at that and see how it compares. If anybody in the area, far, far, far western suburbs of Chicago, way out in the cornfields, if you got a premium Tesla Model 3 or any other car you want to try, yeah, send me a message and, yeah, and you can bring it on in and we'll see how they compare. I'd really like to see how this standard sound system compares with uh, the full premium sound system. So I've got the Tesla Model 3 base standard range made in 2019. I've been told that I have a rear deck speakers. They're just not hooked up. Someday I'd, I'd like to hook them up. They've got some kits that, that could do that. Um, I could get a kit to put the subwoofer in the back. But it'd be nice to see how it compares to a factory premium sound system. So if you got one, let me know. We can uh, we can measure it. But jumping back into REW, we can have a look at the spectrogram. And you can see the big bass buildup. And then there's kind of a tail here. So you'll see it here in the waterfall as well. This uh, 46.3 hertz. 
kind of has a tail. I'm thinking that is a huge wave because it's so low. It's probably a mode or something in my shed. But other than that, um, not a lot of tails. Nice and tight sound. Spectrogram also shows that nice tight sound within the cab. So now let's bring in the truck and see how that compares. Import. Find the truck, three quarter volume truck, sweep number two. Very good. We will smooth that to 1 12th. Let's make that a color we can see, like a green. All right, the truck is the green, Tesla is the purple. You can see a lot bassier sounds here in the truck. Turn off the Tesla for a night now. So a lot bassier sounds in the truck, and you can really hear that on my recordings as I uh, test them out. Um, evens out here in the highs and as you can see it goes all the way to 20 kilohertz no cutoff as we move into the spectrogram let it build you can see the big high big uh, larger area here for the lows we still got this long tail so probably it's still the shed because I'm measuring them in the shed and you'll see it in the waterfall as well not a lot going on as far as decay, reverb problems. You'll see here that this uh, should be as straight across as possible. The downward slope isn't bad. House curve, some call it. There's, there's other names for it. So not, not too bad compared to the Tesla. A little bit more even all the way across. A lot of, a lot of information missing here in this area on the Tesla. So there you go. So uh, hit subscribe, leave me comments, tell me what you think I did wrong, tell me what you think I did right. Either or, I don't care. Um, if you're in the area and you want me to test your car, hey, I got time, I can do that. Yeah, and if, especially if you've got a Tesla Premium Model 3 with the premium um, interior with all your speakers working, that'd be cool to see, see the difference. Thank you, see you around.